We started an artist program at Hubbard Brook back in 2013. At the highest level, we believe that in order to solve the current and the looming social and environmental crises that faces the world today, we need everyone on board. Scientists, artists, engineers, politicians, and everyday citizens of all kinds working together to create solutions. In our program, we welcome artists and scientists to work together, each through their own lens, to understand our magnificent northern forests and to encourage people to protect these forests for now and for generations to come. So I was fascinated when Nikki Lint came to Hubbard Brook and brought with her a hydrophone and we were able to listen in to below ground sound. To be honest, I didn't think we would hear anything, but instead we heard so many sounds, deep, resonant, and reverberating sounds, and now I'm hooked, trying to figure out what sounds mean and how we can use them to untangle the mysteries of the below ground forest ecosystem. The project I've been working on for about three years now, studying the thawing permafrost in the Arctic, has really led me into the idea for this project. I've been going to the Arctic and exploring the effects of permafrost thaw on the stability of the ground and the changes it's causing to the landscape. So I've already been very busy with the relationship of underground to above ground and things you can't see directly and how to express this through visual art and sound. So this is a new form of that. It's a new experiment with it. Here at Hubbard Brook, working with the scientists, and it's been very, very inspiring for me. It's really opened up my mind to a lot of things that I would never know about the forest, but now there's so much more I understand about it. It's been very inspiring, just people who are very interested and devoted to what they're doing, and me passing some of what I'm doing onto them, and them, I feel like, so much richness has come from all the things that they showed me and talked to me about and that I learned from them. It's really an incredible experience for me. There's so much work going on at Hubbard Brook on the physics, chemistry, and the biology of soils. Discoveries are often made at the intersections of different disciplines, so why not at the intersection of art and science? I put together this video the first part is about um, how snow sounds above ground and then underground. The sounds in the soil are very resonant. If you lightly tap a tree above ground, underground, it sounds like a drum. It's really, really surprising how the sounds carry through the soil. There's so many different sounds you can hear in the soil if you have patience and you listen. The water was very melodic. A couple of inches could make all the difference to hearing completely different melodies. The stones were pretty sharp. I played with the stones a lot to create events that may happen along the side of a brook the moving and falling of stones and they, it, it was a pretty sharp sound that they created. There's so many disruptions to our natural world right now and this project speaks to the interconnectedness, in this case underground, of all the different parts of the forest and those forests connect onto each other. Nikki and I continue to expand our listening in to new forests in new landscapes as I tie the sounds to science and Nikki creates art. And to leave you with, the 20th century was the age of science and science and art were largely kept separate in schools and in fact in society as a whole. As we move forward, it is our hope that these two disciplines will be better entwined, allowing us new perspectives on the complex problems of people and nature.